because ammonia is soluble, when I squirt water into it, it should dissolve the ammonia gas. And we get a little fountain here. Say again. Uh, ammonia gas in here. So you have ammonia gas here. It's a soluble gas. What's going to happen when we dissolve the gas? What's going to happen to the air pressure inside? Louder. I have a fan going behind me. Louder. Decrease. Decrease pressure here because you're going to get rid of some of the gas, but it's still trapped inside the same volume. So you have a decreased pressure here. Normal atmospheric pressure, air pressure out here then pushes down on the liquid, pushes it up the tube, and then comes into here. The pink color is the phenolphthalein that was causing the problems during the lab. I put phenolphthalein into the water here. Phenolphthalein clear inside water and anything that's acidic, uh, but anything that's neutral is also clear. So then when it goes up the tube, it begins to dissolve the ammonia gas even more because this little squirt of water only dissolves a little bit of the ammonia gas. The water rushing up then dissolves more. As it dissolves ammonia, it forms ammonium hydroxide. Hydroxides are bases. We get a basic solution causing the phenolphthalein to turn pink. Questions? Instead of pushing the liquid up the tube, we have a non rigid container. This is plastic and glass, of course. And so then as the pressure decreases, we end up with a volume decrease here. Question? 